versus MD, osteopathic medicine versus allopathic medicine. Today, I want to take a few minutes to break down some of the similarities and differences between these different ways of practicing medicine and draw particular attention to differences in philosophy between these two schools of thought. First, hi, my name is Dr. Sarah Klebe, and I'm an admissions expert at BMO. So first, the similarities, and there are many. Uh, there are a lot of misconceptions about the similarities and differences between these two different schools of thought, and so it's worthwhile to dispel some of those myths. First, in terms of the course of study, similar. Uh, both are going to go through four years of medical school. You have to have uh, similar GPA scores, MCAT scores in order to gain admissions into the program. Uh, MDs can, schools can be a little bit more competitive, but you have to have strong scores to get in, whether you're going into an MD or a DO program. Uh, both are able to do residency matching after medical school, and both have licensing exams and emerge from their schooling and residency licensed practicing physicians. Uh, in terms of application and tuition costs, again, the application costs are comparable, and tuition costs actually have more to do with things like public versus private institution, in-state versus out-of-state residents, than they do with the division between these different kinds of programs. Um, so there are more private osteopathic programs, and private schools tend to lean more expensive than public ones. There are exceptions to that, of course, but generally speaking, Speaking, public institutions can be more expensive. Regardless of which program you go into, you're going to end up spending anywhere from thirty to ninety thousand dollars in tuition. And again, the more substantial differences there have to do with um, whether you're an in-state or out-of-state applicant, or if applicable, in-province versus out-of-province. Uh, often, out-of-state applicants pay a lot more in tuition than in-state applicants. And of course, that only grows exponentially if you are an international student. So no significant difference in cost based on discipline or sort of philosophical perspective or type of medicine alone. Uh, the differences that you'll see have to do with other factors. Um, in terms of salary, again, similar. Uh, both make the same amount in the same specialty. MDs do tend to take on uh, specializations that pay a little bit more, and so that can make it seem as though MDs actually do make more than DOs, but that's actually not the case. If you have two doctors, one an MD, one a DO, in the same program performing surgery, they're going to make the same wage, so no real significant difference in salary. And finally, in terms of specialization, um, there are no limitations on specialization for DOs, for osteopathic practitioners. They take on the same specializations, uh, they can perform surgery, they're fully licensed practitioners. So while there is a, a considerable philosophical difference between uh, osteopathic and allopathic medicine, um, those osteopathic practitioners aren't sort of alternative practitioners. The term holistic is used sometimes to talk about how osteopaths do medicine, but it's not in the sense of, of holistic medicine when we think of sort of alternative practitioners, non-licensed practitioners, etc. Now, DOs are able to practice, prescribe medicine, perform surgery, and otherwise perform all the same medical duties as allopathic doctors or MDs. In terms of differences, really the biggest difference is philosophical. When we're talking about allopathic medicine, MDs, what we usually think of as doctors, uh, what we're talking about is a treatment-centered approach to medicine, which is to say you find the disease, the condition, the ailment, the illness, and you prescribe a treatment or propose a solution. And this is the most, you know, common or sort of most well-known approach to practicing medicine. However, uh, the osteopathic approach is somewhat different. Uh, like I said, the term holistic is often used to describe it, but holistic here means whole person, which is to say 
Osteopathic doctors are trained to look not just at the illness, the ailment, the immediate problem, but other factors in a patient's life that might influence the course of the disease, looking at social determinants of health, psychological components of health, all of those various factors of health. So they pay special attention to patients' environment, to their social condition, to environmental and contextual elements. Um, DOs look at bodies as systems, uh, systems that have the capacity to self-regulate, self-heal, but that work in tandem as opposed to sort of, you know, dividing those systems up. So um, that's the biggest difference is that approach to illness and what's looked at and what's treated. There are some other differences. For example, osteopaths learn a technique called osteopathic medical manipulation or OMM, which is a series of sort of movements and manipulations of the body that can alleviate pain. And so DO students will learn this technique as part of their standard coursework. Um, so again, looking at ways that the body can heal itself. However, again, that's not to say that osteopaths don't prescribe medication or do surgery or anything like that. Obviously, sometimes those kinds of interventions are needed, but the preferred approach is to focus on ways of facilitating the body's healing of itself and to look at, again, not just the um, sort of manifestation of a pathology, but to look at the wider social, environmental, psychological, contextual elements of health and understand how to best nourish and foster the wellness of the whole person. Hence, holistic approach. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful. If so, please do go ahead, like it, share it with a friend who might benefit from it. Be sure to follow us on whatever social media platform you're on right now. If you'd like us to help you, click the link that should appear either above or below this video to schedule a free consultation. We'll set you up with one of our admissions experts to answer any questions you might have and get you started on your preparations. We have programs to suit any of your needs, and we're always happy to work with you to determine which plan is going to support you and your goals most effectively. Effectively. As ever, thank you so very much for your time. Take good care and I'll see you next time.